Good morning, guys. This is Social Fire. It is early in the morning, but we have the information for the upcoming Drag Mall Heroes units coming to JP. So we're going to be taking a look at what we currently have here. Uh, basically, the stats for all of the units. So if you missed the super attacks, be sure to check that out in the video that I posted earlier. Uh, some pretty nice super attacks coming up with this. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. So first off here, we have the uh, Super Saiyan Cumber or Giant Ape Cumber. So his leader skill will be Extreme Class Key Plus 2 and HP Attack and Defense plus 80%. His Super Attack Savage Tyrant will cause immense damage and greatly lower attack and defense. His passive skill is Key Plus 2 and Attack and Defense plus 150%. He'll also have a high chance to stun Super Class enemies when receiving an attack. And then you'll have a high chance to transform into a giant ape when HP is 50% or below, which can happen once only. So I'm guessing in giant form, it'll be similar to the other giant form units where they can also perform criticals and additionals and are invincible to damage. Links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Tough as Nails, Saiyan Roar, Transform, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And then his categories are Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Dragon Ball Heroes, Giant Transformation, and Super Saiyan. So personally, I'm very excited to see another Giant Ape unit coming in. Um, that category's been getting some pretty nice buffs. I was hoping this guy might be like a Giant Ape lead or something like that. One day we'll get an updated leader before that. But for now, this is still a really nice unit here. Um, really like his high chance to stun as well. Next up, we have Super Fu. So Super Fu's leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes category key plus 3 and HP attack and defense plus 130%. His super attack surprise blade will raise attack and defense for one turn and cause immense damage and seal super attacks. His passive skill is attack and defense plus 150% when launching a super attack. He'll also gain key plus 1 up to a maximum of 4 and he has a chance to evade plus 10% with a maximum of 40% for each Time Traveler's category ally. His links are Brainiac's Demon Duo, The Innocence, Cold Judgment, Rival Duo, Infighter, and Shattering the Limit. And then his two categories are Dragon Ball Heroes and Time Travelers. Personally, I'm pretty excited about trying him out on a Time Travelers team. Um, one that everybody's been waiting for and pretty excited about is Golden Cooler. So he's finally coming to Dokkan Battle. Uh, card art looks amazing, I've got to say, and I did like his super attack as well. So his leader skill is Extreme Tech Type Key plus 3 and HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. His super attack Golden Supernova raises attack and causes immense damage. His passive skill is Attack and Defense plus 100%. Also, all allies gain plus two key and attack and defense plus 20%. If there are three or more Dragon Ball Heroes category allies, gain an additional attack and defense plus 30% and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So it looks like he's going to be a pretty nice support unit here. Links are Strongest Clan in Space, Cold Judgment, Brainiacs, Rival Duo, Metamorphosis, and Universe's Most Malevolent. And then his categories include Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Full Power, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. All right, next up, guys, we have some of the Awakenings that are coming to uh, Dragon Ball Heroes units that are already in game. So first off, we're going to start with Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku. So his leader skill will become Dragon Ball Heroes category or Super Strength types key plus three and HP attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack instant transmission Kamehameha will cause immense damage with a high chance to stun. His passive skill will be attack and defense plus 100%. Guard will also be activated against all attacks and he'll gain an additional attack plus 50% when a super attack is launched. He'll also gain 7% damage reduction per Dragon Ball Heroes category ally with a maximum of 35%. So it looks like on a Dragon Ball Heroes team, this guy should be able to tank pretty well. 
Now, I also like the high chance to stun as well with a super attack. Um, links are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Shattering the Limit. And then his categories, he actually has several here. They include Dragon Ball Heroes, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Goku's Family, and Kamehameha. All right, next up, one of my personal favorites from the Dragon Ball Heroes units is Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Vegeta here. So with his awakening, his leader skill will be Dragon Ball Heroes category or super physical types, key plus three, and HP attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack atomic flash will greatly raise attack for one turn and cause immense damage to the enemy and greatly lower defense. His passive skill will be attack and defense plus 100%, and he will disable enemy's guard. He'll also gain 7% additional attack and defense and a critical hit chance up to a maximum of 35% per Dragon Ball Heroes category ally. He'll also gain an additional attack plus 50% when launching a super attack. His link skills include Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, over in a flash, limit breaking form, and shattering the limit. And then his categories include Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, and Rivals. All right guys, next up here we have Supreme Kai of Time, so she's getting an awakening as well here. Uh, so she was already a decent support unit, but with her awakening, her leader skill will be Dragon Ball Heroes category or Super Tech Types plus 3 key, and HP attack and defense plus 100%. Her super attack will massively raise defense for one turn and cause supreme damage and seal super attacks. Her passive skill is all allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 30%, and a critical hit chance plus 12%, so again, very nice boost there. Um, also, great chance of all allies to gain attack plus 12%, and a great chance of all allies to gain defense plus 12%. Her links are Master of Magic, Rival Duo, More Than Meets the Eye, Cold Judgment, Telekinesis, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit. And then her categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Realm of Gods, Patara, and Time Traveler. So again, she's going to be a great support unit for any of those categories. Now, as far as the rest of the units here, we don't have that artwork for each one of them, but we do have this glimpse here. So a few other ones coming up as well. Uh, let's see, we will start off with Gotenks. So Zena Gotenks, his leader skill is super agility types, plus three key and HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack, super burning Kamehameha causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. His passive skill is attack and defense plus 70% and, he, and he'll gain an additional attack and defense plus 20% for every super attack launch and that is a maximum of 80%. He'll also perform an additional super attack if the targeted enemy is in the sealed status. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, Fused Fighter, and Kamehameha. And then several categories here, he has Fusions, Hybrid Saiyans, Kamehameha, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. All right, next up we have, let's take a look here, uh, Vajiks. So Zeno Vajiks here, his leader skill is strength type key plus two and HP attack and defense plus 60%. Super attack is burning impact, which raises defense and causes supreme damage. Passive skill is Vegeta and Trunks power, which is attack and defense plus 70% when launching a super attack. He'll also gain a critical hit chance plus 7% for every super attack launched, and that is with a maximum of 35%. He'll also perform an additional super attack if the targeted enemy is in the attack down or defense down status. His link skills include Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Royal Lineage, Shocking Speed, Fused Fighter, and Power Bestowed by God. And then his categories include Patara, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. So two of my favorite uh, characters getting a mashup there. So again, that is the Cheeks. 
All right, next we have Gohanks. So here we have Gohanks. Uh, leader skill is super intellect type, key plus three, and HP attack and defense plus 70%. His super attack also causes supreme damage and seals super attacks. His passive skill is attack and defense plus 70%. He'll gain an additional attack and defense plus 20% for every super attack launched, and that was with a maximum of 80%. Also, will perform an additional super attack if the targeted enemy is in the attack down status. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Fused Fighter, and Cold Judgment. And then categories are Fusions, Time Travelers, Hybrid Saiyans, and Dragon Ball Heroes. And then lastly here we have the free-to-play cumber so again we have the giant ape transforming one and this is the free-to-play version so his leader skill is dragon ball heroes category key plus three and hp attack and defense plus 50 percent his super attack disaster eraser raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage and his passive skill is key plus two and attack and defense plus 50 percent also, extreme class allies gain attack and defense plus 20% when attacking the enemy. Super class enemies attack and defense minus 20% when receiving an attack, and then he'll perform an additional super attack as the first attacker in a turn after receiving an attack. So, not bad for the free to play unit here. Uh, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Tough as Nails, Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And then his categories are Pure Sands, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. So those are the upcoming stats for the Dragon Ball Heroes units. Again, some of these are Awakenings, and then some of these are the new ones coming up soon. So personally, I'm pretty excited. Like I said, I definitely enjoyed the super attacks and the transformation for uh, Grade 8 Cumber. Let me know in the comments if you are excited for the Dragon Ball Heroes units and if you plan on summoning. Shout out to Gorish for the translations. So we're going to wrap it up here, guys. As always, when more information becomes available, I will be sure to let you know. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.